Chief, um, I, I kind of got stuck in the bag um, when you were delivering some places. Hey, I'm here to help. Oh, hey, and can I, I want to say, happy holidays, Oreo Nation. Um, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I help Santa do everything he can over the holidays. And um, I just want to tell you that 2020 was a real dog bone. But we're going to get through this. And now that I kind of stowed away, I'm at the North Pole with Santa. We're going to make some great things happen, not only over the next two a few weeks, but in 2021. It's going to be the year of the Oreo, and we're going to rock it. So, hey, happy holidays, everybody. And for all your pleasure, and hey, Santa, you're going to like this, too. Here is A.A. Ron, Aaron. Some people call him Mr. Sadoff. I call him the guy who lets me outside to do my thing and then gives me some snacks. He's going to do a reading of the night before Christmas. This is from last year, but it's a goodie, an oldie but a goodie. Enjoy, everybody. Happy holidays. And you know what? I'm here helping out Santa. Chief's on it. Have a good one. Chief, out. Ho, 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 ho. And now, for a dramatic reading of The Night Before Christmas by A. A. Ron Sadoff. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even an Oriole. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children from 4K all the way through 12th grade and some people spend a little more time, so but any of them, were all snestled, all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums and Swedish fish and Sour Patch Kids and peanut butters and jellies all dance in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. I opened the shutters, I threw the sash. The sash is another word for a drape or something like that that you get on the way so you can see. The moon, the brass, the new fallen snow, the jingles, the belling. What objects below? When what to my wondering eye should appear? But a miniature sleigh, and eight really stinking cute tiny reindeer. With an older driver so lovely and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Mr. D. St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Common, on Cooper, on Don, and on Owen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly when they met an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and Mr. Dieter, St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and turned around on the chimney, St. De- Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished of ashes and soot. A bundle of toys had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler. That means somebody who sells stuff, like a business person. Mr. Wismer would know about that. Just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. And his beard on his chin, as white as the snow and the stump of a pipe. Held tight in his teeth and smoking's not okay. This was back in the day, so realize that you shouldn't be smoking. It's just part of how it used to be back in the day when this was written. 
and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a lot round belly, and he shook when he laughed, <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, or husky as my mom would say. The right old Ollie Elf, Jolly Elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist in his head soon gave me to know I, I had nothing to dread. I was cool. This guy was was cool. He was he was like the right guy. It was, it was good. And he spoke not a word. He went straight to his work and he filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod on the chimney. Up it, he rose. Not his finger up his nose, but the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and his team gave a whistle. <whistles> and he sprang away and they all flew like some thistle. Thistle, sith, thistle, thistle. It's that stuff that floats in the air into some you know from a dandelion. And he heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and every other holiday, and to all, a Oriole Nation night. Happy holidays from the school district of North Fond Lac. Hey, Chief. Good luck getting home and finding your family. Thanks, Mr. Norwal. Happy holidays. <laughs>